Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyMarketing.com, and in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create a lead magnet funnel within ClickFunnels 2.0. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So I'm gonna go into funnels right here, and I wanna go ahead and create a funnel. And there's different funnels we could go ahead and choose from. Like you do see lead funnels right here, or summit funnels as well. So this would create, you know, a two-page funnel for us automatically. And there's other funnels too, like unboxing, presentation, phone funnels, other funnels, etc. So a lot of different options to choose from that are pre-built, but we're gonna go ahead and do it from scratch because if you can do it from scratch, then you would know how to manipulate these pre-built ones to suit your needs. So we'll do start, start from scratch, and this is gonna be a lead magnet funnel. And as you notice, you could go ahead and change the path of your funnel as well. So if you don't want it to be lead magnet funnel, you could just be like lead magnet instead. So, you know, self-explanatory. Go ahead and create the funnel. And here we get into the funnel workflow area. And the first thing we need to go ahead and do is add a step. So we'll add our first step by clicking this plus button. And we'll go ahead and create a page because we want an opt-in page for people to opt in on. There's different categories we could go ahead and choose from as well. So these are pre-designed pages that we can use. So there's a lot of different templates to choose from. You see I'm on the opt-in category and note there is multiple pages here too. So there's 69 different opt-in pages that you could use or you could go ahead and look at your pages that you've created if you want to use one of those or you can go to all and see all the different pages. So there's 231 different templates to choose from. Now, all these aren't opt-in pages. Those are all right here. So if you want to use something that's already pre-built or you've already pre-built one of your own, you can go ahead and select it. But we're going to go ahead and do a new page and just start from scratch. So this will be the lead magnet and I could add a description so I can keep myself organized. But I want to leave it blank. I could change my page URL. So I'll just do page two and I should see that that URL is available. Style guide, so I'm gonna use a default style. I have another video on the style guide that goes into details on how it all works, so link in the description if you need help with the style guide. If you wanna index this page in search engines, then you can go ahead and turn this on. Might as well, if I get a little bit of free search engine traffic, I will take it. So we'll go ahead and create the page now, and there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit here, and it'll load up the page builder. Now I'm not gonna go into great detail on building the page. I'm just gonna do something super simple just to kind of check the block and get us a, a lead magnet page. So opt in below for the awesome lead magnet. Again, I have videos on how to design pages and all that stuff, so link in the description down below. We'll go ahead and add an image and we'll click on it and I'll go ahead and select a different image. We're gonna go ahead and put this sales funnel looking thing right here. Let's go ahead and shrink it up a little bit because it's too large and maybe I'll change my top margin a little bit and all that looks good to me so I'm going to leave it alone go ahead and add another element and here I want to go ahead and add in an input field so I'm going to go ahead and click input and I'll add another one as well so we have two so there's my first one I'll go ahead and click on it I change my input type to full name so I have my full name I can make it required or optional I'll leave it required change the label and so on. So self-explanatory options to customize the look and feel of my input field. Then I have email as well. I'm gonna leave that saying email address and I am and I have to leave that required because you know I need their email address to collect the lead. And again, I can go ahead and change all this information. I have, but I'm gonna leave it the default. Next, we need to add a submit button. So I'll go ahead and do add element and we'll come look for a button button. So we got a button here, there we go. And I'll click on it and click to sign up or send me the lead magnet. There we go, it will arrive in your inbox. And I could go ahead and change some other settings as well. On click, we want it to go to submit order or form because we're submitting a form, right? We're submitting this opt-in form. And so I'm satisfied with that and I could change more settings again. We'll add another section real quick. Let's go ahead and go to my assets and I wanna add my universal footer. So let me go ahead and select that. There we go. Because I need to have my privacy policy and all that other type of stuff on my opt-in form page. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and click on save. Of course, there are more settings I could go ahead and adjust if I wanted to. I have a whole page builder video on that, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. We're going bare minimum, functional lead magnet funnel. 
Now we'll go ahead and back out of here. And now we need our second page of our funnel. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here and create another new page. And again, there's like a thank you page I could go ahead and select. And maybe I'll just go ahead and do that just for the sake of an example. So we'll do this one. This one looks cool. So save, thank you, bold text. I could go ahead and change the name, of course. Thank you. There we go. And I don't want my thank you page indexed in search engine, so I will leave that off. We'll go ahead and create the page. And then we'll go ahead and click edit. And then I can go ahead and say, thanks, check your email for the lead magnet. And then of course I can edit all this text and whatever else, but I'll leave it how it is. We'll just go ahead and click save because it suits our needs for this example. And we'll back out of here. So now we have a two step funnel where they can opt in and then there's the thank you page. Now we need to go ahead and set up an automation that actually delivers the lead magnet. So there's a couple ways to do it, but I'm gonna do it from within the funnel. I'm gonna click on this little lightning bolt looking thing and it lets us choose an existing workflow if we have one, or we could go ahead and create a new workflow. So we'll do that. And a workflow in ClickFunnels 2.0 is basically an automation. So lead magnet delivery and event type. So I'll click on this and we'll scroll on down here to opt in. So if somebody opts in on this page, we'll go ahead and send them send them the lead magnet delivery. So I'll go ahead and create the workflow. And then I can go ahead and add a plus right here. And there's a bunch of different options within the workflow builder. So we could send emails, send assets. We could do workflow like conditional split paths or delays or have goals. We can do add tags to people or enroll them or unenroll them in courses or community access. So there's a lot of different functions and features within the workflows. And I have another video on workflows that goes into more detail on how it all works. But for the sake of our example, we're gonna go ahead and select send email. Now we could do send asset, but send email gives us a little bit more customization. And so that's what I wanna go with. So we'll do send email. And again, I could select a template here of, a temp of an email, or I could go ahead and create a new template if I want to. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do new template. And so this is the name of the email. So e lead magnet delivery. And subject, here's your lead magnet. Pre-headline, open to see what's inside. And then our from address, and I'll go ahead and select my Crazy Eye Media address. And then we'll go ahead and click create. And it gives us a little warning right here that we need to edit our template. So if we click on it, it'll open up the email template builder, which is quite similar to the page builder, as you see right here. So we can go ahead and add our paragraph. Yo, here's the link to download your lead magnet. Peace, Nathan. And I got a little too carried away with the white spacing, but you get the idea. So then I can go ahead and bold this up, link over to the lead magnet, wherever that might be. Just throw a pound sign or hashtag in there. And I could go ahead and change the link color over here. We'll go ahead and make it my orange color. There we go. And I'm happy with that. Now, of course, I could do a lot more stuff if I wanted to really, you know, customize my email and stuff. And I cover it in my workflows email, so check that out if you're interested. But we're gonna go ahead and click on publish for this particular example. And then I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here. And I'm gonna check out this workflow trigger real quick to see if it makes sense. So event type opt-in. Funnel, lead magnet, funnel, page lead, lead magnet, anonymous contacts allowed. So it looks like it'll trigger appropriately and things will work. So that is good. Up next, I need to go ahead and actually turn this thing on. So I'll flip this switch here. And it asked me if I'm sure I want to enable this workflow. And yes, I do. So now this lead magnet should be delivered. And I want to go back to my funnel now. So let's come back out to my funnel. And so now I have my funnel and it has the workflow connected to it right here that I could go ahead and edit by clicking on that option. And as you may notice, there's another menu right here. Let's go ahead and click on it. So we could also set up a split test if we want to between you know two different variations of our page. We could also go ahead and clone the page. We could add products if we had a an order form or a checkout element on our page, which we don't. We can also manage events, and this is like calendar type events. So if you wanted to launch somebody into like a countdown of a product launch or something, you could go ahead and set this up. And I'll have another video on events within ClickFunnels 2.0, but we're gonna leave it alone right now. We could also attach workflow, which we already did by clicking the lightning bolt. 
There's also step settings right here. So if we wanted to change the name of our step or the, the path of our step, we could go ahead and do that in this area. And then we also have page settings. So if we click over here, we can get the page settings. So there's our name and description. Here's our SEO data. So if you want to make it more SEO friendly, you could change it whether to index and search engines or not. Your social sharing image right here your URLs, and then you could also use a different style if you want to for this particular page, but we're gonna leave it all defaults. I just wanted to go, go over those settings real quick. And of course you see the option to remove a page. So those are the options and same concept, you know, on our thank you page as well. So there we have it. So now this funnel should work. We have an opt-in page, a thank you page, and an automation. Let's go ahead and visit this funnel by coming up here to the top. We can click on this and it copies the link to our clipboard or we can go ahead and click on this little arrow button and it'll open it up in a preview mode. And we wanna make sure that our page and funnel functions like we think it should. So I'll go ahead and put in my full name and then my email address. And then I'll click on send me the lead magnet and it should bring me to the thank you page. And there we go, thanks, check your email for the lead magnet. So it looks like that worked. Now it's a matter of seeing if the lead magnet is actually delivered to my email address. So I'll come over here. And here we go, we can see that the email arrived in my inbox. Here's your lead magnet and there's my link to download it. And I've got my email footer right here that automatically populated based off of my settings under the marketing tab in ClickFunnels 2.0. But anyway, got the, the lead magnet right there. And so let's come back to the funnel real quick. The next thing to go ahead and do is turn this funnel live. Now, honestly, I don't know if it matters on an opt-in funnel if it's in test mode or not. I think that's more for testing with credit cards, but we'll go ahead and turn it live just in case it does make a difference. So we wanna come up to settings and then we wanna go ahead and turn off test mode. So test mode, no. And then we'll go ahead and do update funnel. So now our funnel is live. And just like that, we've set up our lead magnet funnel and we can start sending traffic to this link right here and start growing our email list and making sales and all that other type of stuff. But that's how you go ahead and you create a lead magnet funnel in ClickFunnels 2.0. Now, if you need other ClickFunnels 2.0 training, of course, I have lots of videos on it. So check out my channel. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or please check out crazymarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.